हेलो रोहन वेलकम बैक टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल द इमिग्रेशन गुरुस आई एम मीटिंग कुलवंत टुडे इन ब्रैम्पटन एंड ही गॉट हिज स्टडी वीजा देन गॉट स्पाउस ओपन वर्क परमिट फॉर द वाइफ एंड किड्स एवरीवन इज हियर नाउ सो जस्ट क्विकली योर प्रोफाइल योर जर्नी जर्नी ऑफ योर स्पाउस ओपन वर्क परमिट व्हाट आर द इश्यूज यू फेस्ड Um, how is your life in Canada? So please share uh, yeah. everything quickly. First of all, thank you for having me on this channel. So this journey started back in uh, 2020 when I did my uh, masters. After my masters, I have uh, two master degrees back in India: masters in English and masters in information technology. And I applied for uh, FSW, uh, PR. and uh, but due to covid the draws did not happen so uh, i am from uh, punjab basically and i lost all hope when um, everybody every consultant in punjab they told me that uh, you will not get visa because uh, study permit specifically because you have uh, applied for your permanent residency and it will be uh, a contradictory statement to apply for study permit then i saw your video on youtube uh, dual intent yeah. that we can apply for study visa even if we have applied for permanent residency. residency under any program so that i saw and uh, then i called you right away then it started but uh, except you there were uh, nobody who was uh, willing to apply for my study visa then we applied for uh, then i came here on one year study and right away we applied for uh, sowp of my wife and visitor visa or study visa of my kids uh so we got approval within one month i guess and uh, after that we applied for visitor visa of my mother too yeah. so she came as well so yeah all all of us are here and uh, everything is because of you the immigration you. gurus yeah and uh, uh, you didn't you didn't get admission through me initially i guess yes 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 uh, i got admission from the other consultant but uh, they they applied for my uh, uh, offer letter only yeah. uh, but they told me that you will not get visa so they they applied just because i insisted them please apply yeah. then i called you that they are not accepting me even if they have applied my offer letter so you said no worries we will pay the fee and we will proceed and definitely we will get visa yeah. Yeah. and uh, uh, one little story what happened uh, when Your wife came to Canada on spouse upon her permit, but I found on oh, airport, yeah, that yeah, particular yeah, thing that because was... that is a learning for everyone. Uh, yes, yes. Actually, I uh, as I have earlier mentioned that I have two kids, one daughter and one son. My daughter is eight years old and my son is four. So uh, what happened was uh, my son's approval was a week delay. There was a week delay because they asked for medical even if it was passed. So it was a, net, a technical glitch, by the way. Uh, there was a uh, fault of nobody so uh, we decided that okay we will leave uh, our son back back home and my wife will come only with my daughter but uh, when uh, she entered here in canada in the immigration the immigration officer uh, doubted on her so they said that uh, so you you have uh, no intention of uh, going back because you have not brought your uh, uh, younger kid so then she got panicked and uh, she called me even they they took her phone as well um, it was like 3 to 4 hours she had to spend uh, there uh, on on that uh, immigration with that immigration officer the problem was that uh, uh, we did not have um, the visa of uh, my son it was only his ppr so they said that okay so you have brought your um, uh, the elder child elder one but uh, not the younger one so you do not have any intention to go back how you can leave your uh, younger kid there so this was the uh, this was a great uh, you know experience as well and it was a uh, problematic um, you know it it was very difficult for me because i was waiting outside she did not come for four four uh, you know hours so yeah it was it was so everybody should if if you are applying um, for your spousal open work permit i will suggest that please apply for with kids, with kids. do not apply alone and please fly with your kids as well if they get visa so because uh, you, you never know um, at at canadian immigration anything can happen so even if you have everything genuine but uh, they can create problem so uh, do not apply alone apply with your kids or i would say you you were saying that okay you can apply even uh, before flying to canada but uh, yeah yeah because i think that you should even if you are applying study permit you are married you have kids apply 
simultaneously so y- you never know you can fly with your kids and your spouse that well. is possible okay there are two options there one mm-hmm. apply for the entire family together that is one option mm-hmm. second option is uh, get study visa without even traveling to canada apply for spouse yeah, yeah. that is also an option you can do that as but well. whenever you are flying uh, fly with your kids mm-hmm. uh, means spouse should fly with the kids that is one learning from this particular incident mm-hmm. also she earlier also had a study visa refusal as well she four, had four refusals from other consultants and uh, then one yeah. spouse visa uh, refusal yeah. as well so yeah. uh, because of her refusals her history and mm-hmm. then she is not traveling with yeah. the kid with one kid living one kid behind the younger so uh, it creates so much of doubt in the mind of visa officer that mm-hmm. what is your intention why you are coming how you are coming and uh, how you are making all these things possible why you are so Uh, why you are forcing so many applications yeah forcing means if you are applying just for study visa application and even if you are applying for 10 times it doesn't matter it is just like your intention is clear you want to study and you are just trying to get study visa mm-hmm. it is getting refused and you are just reapplying again mm-hmm. and again that's happening mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but you already had uh, study visa refusals then uh, your spouse applied for study visa so he became a student and uh, then she applied for spouse visa it creates the complexity in the profile so this, this is one kind of thing yeah, that you they ask this question as well that, that yeah. first you applied study visa four times you tried entering canada mm-hmm. you you have a refusal of spouse visa as well now your intention is clear mm-hmm. they and they were they were asking it again and again because they they showed everything they okay have. your refu- uh, wife forgot to include the spousal uh, visa refusal in front of the officer okay. they said that uh, okay this is your first file of spouse visa she said yes she wanted to tell them but she forgot that she had a refusal of spousal visa as well then they started doubting that okay no you are forgetting you have one spouse visa refusal as well and so then she said oh i forgot then but th- this was the thing yeah all those yeah. things can create doubt so uh, just first of all don't be nervous one thing then don't do anything which can create issues for you when you are traveling inside canada yeah, yeah. so when you are in front of uh, uh, border officers they are kind of bit you ru- bit rude at times and if your profile has some problem if you are uh, kind of under confident though in that case it can create more problem for you as well so uh, just be confident have all the documents ready have all the details ready with you do not forget to mention anything and you should have answers for all the things uh, answer should be logical means logical means Uh, they are not going to ask anything really random yeah. uh, it is related to your profile it is related to your yeah. profile mm-hmm. you should have answers why you why you are not traveling with the kid yeah. uh, if you are traveling with the kids if you are uh, if the entire family is traveling why you are traveling uh, without uh, kids yeah so whatever you are doing you should have answers for yeah. all those things yeah. and always ask your consultant what kind of answers you sh- we should give yeah. in case uh, any uh, visa officer or any border officer anyone is asking you for those things so you should have answers if you are traveling on study visa then you should have answers uh, related to your program your previous study your previous experience if why you are traveling so you ha- you should have basic answer for that as well uh, don't be nervous always uh, be confident and have answer if you have answers then you will be confident yeah, yeah perfect any other thing that uh, uh, you faced in the entire journey uh, n- nothing in particular but uh, one has to be uh, courageous enough if you have decided <laughs> to enter canada it is full of challenges uh, you know uh, if something if hard work is not your cup of tea you should not do that you should not decide coming to canada it is full struggles. of challenges struggles it are is, real. yes but it makes you tough it makes you what a human being should be in reality yes so be prepared and be honest with yourself and uh, how is your recent journey in canada uh, your job your wife job a, so you also struggled initially uh, initially with the jobs yes yeah. basically because the job market in canada even though i had uh, more than 9 years of experience back in india i struggled finding job here but uh, now everything has been sorted out uh, i uh, first my wife got the job then i got it recently so yes if you have experience if you have right intentions if you have uh, uh, one word which we commonly use here if you have references so this is the main thing so in canada if you have references for the people who are here um, who are your friends or family members or even your relatives uh, they can help you 
but uh, keep on applying keep on uh, exploring the market your your interest and one should if, if this is the advice for uh, not advice this is a general thing for uh, the students who are um, coming for after completing their 12th they must have a skill for example any skill any uh, like uh, they they know they how to you know uh, do some basic works such as um, uh, hair cutting and uh, uh, plumbing electrical electrician something like that okay, so if good. you have some sort of skill you you will not have to look here and there but uh, if you are just coming no voice then you have to struggle yes yeah. okay thank you so much for all the advices yeah. and sharing your journey thank you for I having me i wish you luck and uh, i wish i hope that uh, soon you are going to get your pr yeah. so he is Hopefully. trying to get his pr uh, going on uh, open work permit full time job so soon uh, he and his family should get the pr and uh, if that happens then your life is at least uh, all the tension yeah, stress yeah. that goes away yeah. if this is the end goal <laughs> this is the goal yeah. but okay journey uh, yeah. will keep Continue. on going yeah, yeah. journey of settlement will keep on going yeah. but at least we have pr yeah. so one stress is gone. Is, yeah. is gone so yeah. that is important yeah. so i wish i hope for uh, this these good things in your life in future thank you so much for sharing everything uh, in this video thank you and uh, wish you luck thank you thank you so much